Hi there, welcome to this look at the Christmas 2020 weather prospects. A number of you have commented on my choice of hats in the previous two updates, so I managed to find another one today which has quite an interesting backstory. If you uh, persevere through to the end of this video, I'll tell you about it then. In my first two updates, I suggested a widespread white Christmas wasn't likely this year in the UK, but some places could see fallen snow. Have things changed since my last update? Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at some of the charts. So I'll start with this morning's European model. This shows upper air temperatures and uh, surface pressure on uh, Friday the 25th of December. So the big day itself. And what we can see here is the UK in the centre and we've got an area of high pressure toppling across the country. It's building in from the west and toppling over the UK. And underneath that we've got fairly uh, cold upper level air. And that suggests a mostly dry picture, although a chilly one, and there could be some wintry showers around, particularly in northern and eastern areas. So that's the ECM model, the latest view of it anyway. If I now go ahead to the next chart, which shows the GFS model, um, this is actually for 15 GMT on Friday the 25th of December. And there are, there are differences, uh, but what we can see again is a northerly airflow pushing down across the UK, pretty cold, not terribly cold, but pretty cold nonetheless. And with high pressure uh, building in from the west, we can see there, it would probably be a mostly dry picture like the um, ECM model was showing. But certainly again, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of some wintry showers particularly in uh, northern parts of the UK, perhaps in the east as well. So technically, those two charts, the ECM and the GFS, could lead to a white Christmas in parts of the country. That general picture is being increasingly supported by the ensemble data. So if I quickly move across to this GEFS data table for London, which shows 850 HPA temperatures, what we can see here is in the circled area it's Christmas Day and we've got 47% of our runs keeping uh, 850 HPA temperatures below minus 4 Celsius, 50% of them between minus 4 Celsius and 0 Celsius and just 3% of them between plus 1 Celsius and plus 5 Celsius. So, so there's a high degree of confidence in it being rather chilly or cold um, not necessarily very cold, but rather cold would be probably the best way of describing it. If I skip across to Newcastle, in this, on this one we can see actually 100% of the runs show uh, values of, between, of, of less than uh, 0 Celsius. And Glasgow, it's the same story. 100% of the runs, all of them keep 850 HPO temperatures below 0 Celsius on Christmas Day. So a high degree of confidence in chilly or cold weather across the UK on Christmas Day. Now, of course, that does not mean that it's going to be snowing. It could well be dry and cold as high pressure builds in from the west, for example. So to look at the uh, prospects for snow in a little bit more detail, I'll quickly show you the GEFS snow stamps. Each one of these little plots shows the foreca forecast output from one of the runs in the model. Pink shading is used to indicate snow, snow falling. It doesn't relate to accumulations in any way at all. It just shows the likelihood of snow falling. And I know these don't show up particularly well um, on the video, so I'll not spend a long time dwelling over the actual numbers. But in general terms, what they show is a high likelihood of snow falling in the northern half of the UK than in the southern half. Next, I'll take a look at some location specific forecasts. This one is for London. And I'm not going to uh, discuss the upper air temperature profile of precipitation outlook. I'm 
purely going to focus on the snow row, which is right at the bottom of the chart. I've circled the forecast for uh, Christmas Day. Now remember the maximum value uh, for the snow row is 33 in any given day. Here we can see it's zero for London on um, December 25th. Therefore, none of the runs are showing falling snow. What I would say is that some of the earlier updates have had values as high as around five or six, indicating perhaps a uh, one in six or, or one, in, one in seven chance of uh, snow falling. Therefore, this value could increase again in subsequent updates. The, the data is fully refreshed every six hours. If you want to keep an eye on it, I've posted links below which you can you can follow to see the charts on the uh, Weather Outlook website. Next is Newcastle, and the values here are three and five, still indicating a low chance, but a higher one than for London. Next, we have Liverpool values here, one and two, very low risk according to this. We'll go up to Edinburgh, and here we have values of five and three, a, uh, a higher risk, but still still pretty low. And finally, Cairngorms, so the, the, the Scottish Highlands. And there's a huge difference here, as you'd probably expect. We see the uh, 24 or 27, 21, around the Christmas Day period. So that's over two thirds of the runs in the ensemble are predicting that snow will fall over the Scottish Highlands um, on, on Christmas Day. So putting everything together, where does that leave today's update? Well, it remains too early to be confident about the Christmas Day weather. However, there's a growing likelihood of it being cold, but I still don't expect most parts of the UK to see falling snow on December 25th. In the northern half of the UK, I'm putting the likelihood of somewhere, at least one place recording falling snow to be between 60 and 70 percent. I'd go for the Scottish mountains or the Pennines, um, as I did on the previous update, being the most uh, likely places to, to record falling snow in the northern half of the UK. In the southern half, I'm going for a risk of between 30 to 35 percent, uh, with the Welsh mountains or the Peak District, perhaps Buxton, the same places that I highlighted um, last week in the update, being the most likely to see some snow on the big day in the southern part of the UK. So it looks like a growing chance of it being chilly and seasonable, but still widespread snow isn't the most likely outcome. That could change and I'll post another update next week. Now at the beginning I mentioned the hat which I'm wearing today and this has a good backstory to it. It was given to me by an auntie in 1995. Incredible as that sounds, this hat's now what 25 years old and in fact <laughs> some of the uh, lights on it still flash. I don't know if you can see it if I, uh, if I press a button. Hopefully you can see that some of those uh, little lights are still flashing. Now, this was given to me, as I say, in 1995, and that was the year that I spent Christmas um, near to a near to Filey, which is which is on the east coast in in Yorkshire. And the reason I can remember it so clearly, apart from this hat being given to me, is because on Christmas Day itself, it started snowing at about I think it was midday-ish, and the snow became heavier and heavier through the afternoon and and through the evening. And by Boxing Day, I think it was about 30 or 40 centimetres deep and the drifts were over the hedges in the, in the surrounding fields. And certainly that was the best white Christmas that I've ever experienced in the UK. So I thought I'd wear this hat. Perhaps it will be a good omen. Perhaps it will uh, encourage the snow to make an appearance this year. You never know. 
Um, and if it doesn't, well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Please remember, if you like this video, hit the, uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so that you'll be uh, informed of future videos and updates as and when they're published. Thanks a lot for watching now. Bye.